Hello and welcome to Clouder. In this short tutorial, we are going to see how to upload videos for your conference items. Your conference may have asked you to upload one or more videos. You will receive an email for each video containing a unique link and instructions. Pre-published videos will be made available to attendees ahead of the conference. This enables attendees to spend time understanding your presentation and thinking of questions to ask you during either your live Q&A or at any other time during the conference. Broadcast videos are played during the live streams of the conference, just prior to your live Q&A session. These short videos should serve as a refresher for attendees before the Q&A starts. Each email contains the link to upload the respective video, as well as the instructions and deadlines for your conference. When you click the link, you will be taken to the upload page. There is no need to log in. You are given three submission attempts. We recommend you edit and review your video offline and only submit your final version to Clouder. The page also includes a reminder of the maximum duration of your video and the maximum video quality. To upload a video, simply drag and drop a file or click to browse your file system. Here, I'll use one of Clouder's marketing videos. You may also be asked to agree to a video release form depending on your conference's requirements. Once the upload is complete, you'll be sent a submission received email to let you know your file was uploaded and is being processed. This does not mean your submission has been fully successful yet. Once uploaded, we will process your video in two stages. First, we transcode the video, and then we automatically generate subtitles for it. This can take a while, particularly for longer videos such as the ones for pre-publication. You can refresh or check back on the upload page at any time to see the state of your video and whether subtitles are available. We see here that the item is still being processed and subtitles have yet to be generated. We see now that the video has been processed and can be played back. However, subtitles are still being processed and so we should wait before proceeding. Once subtitles have been generated, you will receive an email letting you know your submission has been successfully processed and subtitles are available for editing. At this point, your video has been successfully submitted and is part of the conference. To edit the subtitles, simply open the page and start playing the video. You can type to correct any mistakes. When you're done, please remember to click Save. If you do not click Save, your changes will not be submitted and they will be lost. The transcript editor highlights which words are being presented as the video plays. To know what your subtitles will look like when played back, simply start the video from the beginning and watch the highlighted lines as the video plays. Clouder uses several playback systems for pre-publication, live streaming and archiving, which will render the subtitles slightly differently, but the timing with which subtitles appear will always match the timing of the highlighting shown in the transcript editor. Avoid creating or removing new lines. You should only have one line of transcript per timecode, and lines should remain under 80 characters in length. The editor does not currently enforce these restrictions, but we will do our best to correctly process anything you save. Subtitles will work best if you stay within the limits. That's one line per timecode of at most 80, 80 characters per line. Remember, once you're done editing, please click Save. That's all you need to do to submit your video. After the subtitles submission deadline has passed, your conference organizers will push the button to automatically combine your video and subtitles together, and then automatically publish them. This is an automated process after which uploading new versions or further edits to subtitles will have no effect. 
If you notice a mistake after publication, please contact your conference organizers to arrange a correction. It is up to your conference organizers whether they choose to review your videos or not. At each stage of the submission process, you receive an email to update you and let you know what's happening. If your video fails to process correctly, you will receive an email accordingly. For example, I'm going to upload an invalid video file. This is a corrupted video file that will be successfully uploaded into the system but will not be able to be processed by the system. We see that I get the submission received email telling me that the video file was uploaded, but I will shortly receive the email telling me that processing of the video has failed. As we see here, I've received the submission error telling me that the video failed to be processed. If your video fails to process correctly, you will receive an email accordingly. If this happens, you should contact your conference organizers for technical assistance. The Clouder team are also sent a notification of any errors, and we will try to help you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching. We hope you have a successful experience using Clouder and enjoy your conference.